Hi everyone, welcome to this new video lecture of AutoCAD. In this lecture, we will discuss about the projection of solid when the axis is perpendicular to vertical plane. In the previous lecture, we have discussed about the projection of solid when the axis was perpendicular to horizontal plane. Uh, so, let us take an example of this. The question given here, hexagonal prism has one of its rectangular faces parallel to the HP and its axis is perpendicular to vertical plane and 3.5 cm above the ground draw its projection when the nearer end is 2 cm in front of the vertical plane. Side of the base 2.5 cm long, axis 5 cm long. So, this is the question I have taken from the test book. So, here the position of this we need to see that uh, what is the distance covering from the horizontal plane and from the vertical plane. First one. Second one is what is the position of this uh, prism hexagonal prism whether it is uh, the axis how it is given. So, obviously already is clearly given the axis is perpendicular to vertical plane first point. So, that means the hexagon we need to keep it in such a way that the axis of the hexagon need to be kept in this way. So, it will be perpendicular to vertical plane this is our vertical plane and this is our horizontal plane ok and this is our reference line is there here this is the reference line we can see ok and <coughs> now this is the observer that we are observing the object from this uh, side front view and this is the hexagon hexagonal prism ok uh, here front will be hexagon and this end will be hexagon. Now uh, what is given one of its rectangular faces parallel to HP any one of the rectangular faces will parallel to HP that means see this is the one rectangular faces this is one rectangular faces. So, this rectangular face is obviously parallel to this horizontal plane you can see this is the rectangular face is there. So, this surface is parallel to this surface obviously ok satisfied. Now, the next is axis is perpendicular to vertical plane. Now, this is the axis I shown you this is the point this is the axis line it is it is perpendicular to the horizontal plane. Next is 3.5 centimeter above the ground ok. So, from here from this reference line this is situated 3.5 centimeter above. So, that means it will be visible from this front view how much 3.5 centimeter which one on the axis point this axis point is situated from here it is 3.5 centimeter. Draw its projection when the nearer end is 2 centimeter in front of vertical plane that means this is the nearer end of the vertical plane. So, this is situated from here from this vertical plane how much is there not 2 centimeter is there ok and uh, side of the base is 2.5 centimeter that means one of the side is one of the side is given 2 centimeter 2.5 centimeter and axis 5 centimeter long axis is 5 that means height of this prism is 5 centimeter. So, this need to be done in the outer card let us open it. So, here the grids are on let me off the grid F7 and I uh, will go for the pay setup MB setup enter enable paper space no uh, metric M scale factor 1 and with 420 and 297. So, that I have created a uh, drawing set for myself and now I will select this line I will just go for some uh, reference line here ok and next I need to draw the hexagon but thing is the question is here which view need to be done first. Now, when the axis is perpendicular to vertical plane obviously you can see this is the position of this uh, prism hexagonal prism. So, in this uh, position we can see the front view the true shape of the object can be visible from the front view. So, that is why first we need to draw the front view that is a hexagon from the top view what we can see from the top view we can see some faces rectangular faces will be visible, but here this is the last line a 1 line a 1 and b 2 3 c and D 4 these are the lines will be only visible from the top side and front view we can see this A B C D E F ok and back side we cannot see 1 2 3 4 5 but uh, it is there 1 2 3 4 5 6 all these uh, corners are there which is not visible. So, that can be mentioned by the indication of the points here. So, let us go for that AutoCAD ok and uh, go for this polygon select the polygon here and uh, number of sides 6 and specify the edge center point or edge let me select the edge and here this is uh, the hexagon uh, side is given I think 25 mm ok. So, this is the hexagon I have created here 
Now the next thing is we need to draw the top view from this. Very simple. Just to project the line from each of this point and just join it here. From each point we can join this. Okay. Now, so from here it will be the height is given. I hope uh, how much? Five centimeter, fifty. So we'll take this line, and from here directly we'll take it. Okay. Draw this line, and this is of fifty. Again, this is okay. This is some distance is there. Sorry. Some distance is there. How much? Uh, let me check it once. Uh. How much distance need to be kept here? From the vertical plane is uh, two centimeter. Right? Twenty mm distance is there. From there we have to take it. Okay, and this also situated uh, with some distance of I think uh, um, thirty-five, thirty mm or something. Uh, thirty-five, thirty-five. Okay, that will do. So let uh, draw a line. And from here to here, it is 20. And this side, we can join here 50. And here, then we can take here 50. And next to this side again, join it here. Okay. And these things you can just extend up to here. And Similarly, this will be extended up to last, and this also can be extended up to last, and this also can be extended up to the last one. Okay. Now, this front view is placed in from here to some 35 mm distance. I hope, yeah, 35. So let's give it 35 distance. So end it. So here, actually, let me give a point here. End point. Point is not visible, so I'll go for P type. Select this, so it is now visible. So what I'll do here, I'll select this object. I'll just move it. Move it from the Center point, and I'll just keep it here. Okay. Uh, remaining these things, we just can stretch this to the original point. Just click on that line and just stretch it again, so everything will be completed. So now this is the center point. Now we can highlight this. Uh, what are the answer for us? Front view and top view by selecting this object. Just so we can change the color of this, and we can uh, increase the thickness of this line width thickness. And display line width. Okay. So this is all about the front view and top view. And now we can give some uh, dimension of this, the height of this axis, uh, 50, and uh, the distance from this point to here, 20. And the distance from here to here, 35. And uh, what is the base? Okay. Now we need to give the text. The important thing is now text. We need to mention it. So go for the select the text, single line text. Uh, so let's start it from here. A. We can go here in this way. So this is the front view is there. So we need to mark it here. A dash. And this is B dash, okay? C dash, D dash, E dash, and here it is F dash. And inside we need to mark it one, two, three, four, five. So let's see where it is given. Okay, same thing it is given here. Here also one dash, two dash, three dash, and this is four dash. This is five dash, and this is. Six dash. Okay. Similarly, we need to mark it here also. The uh, top view. 
वन टू थ्री फोर ओके वन टू थ्री एंड फोर दिस विल बी फाइव अगेन अगेन हियर इट इज सिक्स ओके एंड सिमिलरली हियर इट इज ए बी सी डी विल बी देर सो ए बी सी डी अगेन ई एफ विल बी रिटर्न ए बी एंड दिस इज सी एंड दिस इज डी सिमिलरली हियर इट इज ई पॉइंट एंड दिस इज अवर एफ पॉइंट एंड दिस वन यू कैन गिव ओ ओ वर्ड एस यू कैन गिव और पी पी एंड ओ पॉइंट गिवेन सो हियर इट इज मार्केट ओ वर्ड एस एंड दिस इज अवर पी एंड ओ पॉइंट हियर पी एंड ओ पॉइंट हियर ओके एंड दिस वन अवर रेफरेंस लाइन एक्स वाई so this is all about the text okay and this line we can change it to the uh, center line here it is not required up to here you can keep it and this line you can change it by here by the by layer go for the other and load the line type and select the center line center 2 you can select center 5x is there that one you can keep it here okay okay and now it is not changed so just select this line and select the center line of this so you can and here one line is there you can delete this line okay so this is our required projection of solid when the axis is perpendicular to the vertical plane okay so very simple to draw it i hope you understood how to draw the uh, diagram of front view and top view when the axis is perpendicular to the uh, vertical plane so if you are having any kind of doubt on this you can give a comment on the comment box thank you all